special deliveries to North 5 and North 2. Seven runs are due and the clock is ticking. Sonia, they're all yours. You got seven minutes. Seven minutes for seven runs? Are you kidding? I'm still recovering from the beating last week, and in this condition, I'm never, ever going to make that. Come on, give me a break. The clock is ticking. You want to keep your job or what? I've got ten others waiting in line to replace you tomorrow. Hungry to do twice the runs you do, slacker. Give me those runs, Sonia. I'll do them for you. I'll even do them in four minutes easily. Those idiots from North 5 are way too slow to steal my deliveries. go, boss. 21k for the seven deliveries. All customers paid without making any trouble. Ah, good, good. They know they won't get their goods from you if they don't pay. You're too fast for that. For a bike messenger, you're a good guy. Now here's your share. $210. Minus my own fee. That makes it $105. I'll wire it right now. Thanks. Still hurts to see all that money go to those thugs for protection, though. Don't think too much about that, son. That's just Subtroid. And you know that'll never change. Wait, I've got someone else on the line. Yeah? Who's this? What the fuck do you mean the quality wasn't what you expected? What do you think we are, fucking magicians? We just deliver your shit and that's all. We aren't even supposed to know what's inside those packages. What did you just call me? You didn't just call me that. Listen to me, creep. If you talk to me like... What? You hung up on me. Yeah, that was real customer service, Sonia. What do you think they'll do now? They're all outside. Stay inside. I'll handle this.
Sonia, you know they hired you just for your looks, right? Everyone knows you can't handle bikes as well as you do men. So your monkey brain learned how to formulate words. That must be very shocking to most. Now shut the fuck up, please, so we can get back to work here. Yeah, work. <laughs> you're all a bunch of losers. And losers don't deserve the bikes you're riding. I think my man would love to have some new rides. And by rides, I mean both bikes and girls, of course. So you say we've got no skills? Put your skills where your mouth is, Mr. Tough Guy. Let's battle. If my skills are better than yours, you'll apologize to her and harass someone else today. And if your skills turn out to be better than mine, your crew will see that you're more than just Mr. Bragomatic. Do we have a deal? Nicely done. You got even more fans as of today. I don't like your sarcasm, big norm. What else should I have done? Should I have just let them take what they wanted while I looked the other way? Yeah, you're right. But that doesn't change the fact that now there's a price on your head. All the Subtroid lowlifes will be after you now. Won't be easy from here. Not if I take them out first. <laughs> Sure. What's up? You're just a Veta, you know? You've got a spark in you that can change the world. The ones rotting away here in Subtroit, they, they all sense that. They all want to kill that spark because it makes them realize that it's not Subtroit that made them the bad people they know they have become. They can't blame anyone other than themselves. Why so serious today? It's not like these guys are gonna ever change. And I can deal with it anyways, you know. I'll manage. If you stay here, you'll die. That's why I used my savings to pay for the entry fee for a chance to win an invite for the rich Chitaly district. Race against RX here, five laps, and when you win, that Chitaly invite is yours. I don't give a shit about Chitaly. Euro trash art style called culture. They all walk around in their fancy handmade suits with more arm candy than I have cockroaches at my place. Subtroid is my home, and no way I'm leaving you behind here. 
Now listen up, fuckface. I didn't throw away my savings for nothing, did I? You win that race, and you'll make a million bucks in Chitaly in no time. Just don't forget who got you there. All I ask from you in return 